What do actors even spend their money on? Like headshots, acting classes. We're going to go through it together and see how much money roughly I spent in 2022. But I also made a spreadsheet to keep track of my finances in 2023. I do want to really quickly say that I have already in years past spent a lot of money on acting because training books. I got my teeth straightened by Invisalign and I also had laser surgery on my eyes so that I no longer had to wear glasses or contacts. I know both of these things. I, I just like, I'm so lucky I was able to do. If I could go back and look at all of the money I've spent up until now. <laughs> Maybe I should do that in the future. But for now, let's take a look at how much money I spent roughly in 2022 and how I'm going to keep track of my expenses in 2023. There are things that I got for free and then there's like a thing that I have for free that I don't know why, but I won't tell if you don't tell. How about we start with the most basic thing that pretty much every actor has, and that's casting website bills. I have been paying for casting networks and that has been $311 this year. Um, I could save some money by doing the annual one and I do wanna do it. I just really didn't wanna put it on my credit card because I didn't have the full money to go ahead and do it. but. Um, with this new year, I, I just know I should. I'm going to save money doing it. IMDb Pro is another one that I use for $150. And that one is technically a casting website, but also just has like so many other things. I primarily use it for research. If you work or have ever worked for Casting Networks, Casting Frontier, like this video is going to be so boring. You should just leave. Like, look, this video is so boring. Okay, now that they're gone, um, I have Casting Frontier. I know that they've featured me um, without contacting me. They just like, I think some people watch my channel or something, but without contacting me or anything, Casting Networks and Casting Frontier have used a couple lines from my video and like quoted me and used me in their newsletter or in an article or something. But they never contacted me to tell me they were give, gonna give me a free Casting Frontier account as much as I do love not having to pay for it. Like just start charging me if you see this. I also submit on Actors Access, which is $68, but um, they charge you per minute to upload clips to do, um, to show people like your acting, your special skills, whatever. So on that, I spent $44 on uploading clips. Casting Workbook gives me a free account because we worked with it we worked together a little bit this year there's a ton of casting websites that i use to submit some of them allow you to just submit like one time for free for um big open casting calls or you can just pay like three dollars for one um submission because there are some that i only submit every once in a while there's blurred lines for like hair makeup clothing subscriptions but i know that i would not wear nearly as much makeup consistently or um buy clothes um for different occasions. You know, there's just extra expenses that I have because I am an actor. I usually do my own manicure so that I can have manicured hands for when I'm on set. And I have purchased like most of the stuff in the past. So I just needed to replenish my nail polish this year and that was $60. This year I decided to splurge and finally find a hairstylist that I loved. And because I do have to keep the same look for my headshots versus what I look like in my self tape audition and what I look like when I come on set, I'm now going to the same hairstylist, which I love her so much but I've never spent this much money on my hair in my entire life. Um, I spent $310 on my haircuts, the tip for the hairstylist, and my hair products. I'm going to roughly estimate that I've spent about $100 just on makeup and products for acting. Of course, some of it gets used for my personal life, so I'm like subtracting that amount from that. And right when I got my haircut, I scheduled headshots so that I could have updated headshots of what I look like. So because a friend of mine did that, he does have experience doing headshots, um, but he gave me a friend rate of $200. Um, so I got those headshots done by my friend to update my style. And then now, because I do have to keep up with the same look, I just go back to the hairstylist and I'm like, okay, I need you to do the same thing as last time. Estimating $262 um, spent this year on clothing um, because sometimes I'm like, I don't wanna send in like this audition with, with this wardrobe or let me go get this and I'll be able to use it on a bunch of auditions. That's like not including clothing I bought just for myself. I am learning skating 
partially for myself just because it's really fun, but also it is a very fun, important skill to have, like just have special skills. So this year um, I've needed to go to classes for skating and I've also needed to buy parts to replace and clean up my skates. So I spent $160. There's a lot of streaming subscriptions that I wouldn't necessarily have if I wasn't an actor because I do this thing um, to save money anyway, where I will cancel like a Netflix subscription because I want to watch something on Disney Plus for that month. And once that month is over, I'll go back to Hulu or whatever. So I spent $150 on different subscriptions. And I know I wouldn't bounce around and watch all of these shows if I wasn't an actor, because I do have to push myself to watch scripted things for research to find out about what different actors are doing, um, directors, showrunners, casting directors. This year, I went to the Southwest Actors Conference, which I was so excited, and I and, and I am so excited that I went, um, but that was very expensive. I spent roughly a thousand dollars, and then going to mixers and having to pay for parking or event tickets, um, I spent about two hundred dollars, and especially when events are in San Francisco, parking can be like forty dollars for a single event. I purchased a few books that I used for acting and on that I spent $60. Add $72 to that because I bought the casting workbook self-tape kit. So I purchased it first and then like a few days later, they're like, hey, we want to work with you. Do you want a free kit? And I was like, wait, no, I just bought a free kit. I mean, I just bought a kit. And um, so that's pretty much the only uh, gear that I bought this year as far as like backdrops and lights and all of that. So. I have purchased a lot more before and I do want to buy um, a lavalier mic because right now I'm using an old phone and a microphone that I just attached to it. But um, for self-tape auditions, I want my audio to be better. So I am going to be purchasing some kind of microphone to make the audio better because I was trying to use oh this one uh, for a little bit. But it's just like in some of the videos, I think it's because it's old or something, but in some of the videos you can hear feedback and feel like hear rumbling. But this year was relatively a cheaper year as far as spending on acting, which I know $3,000 is a lot of money. Trust me. I know it's a lot of money. Let's move on to 2023. Let's make more money and like spend more money, but in smart ways to up level our careers. Expense tracker 2023. I have a bunch of categories on here. It's a pretty simple um, spreadsheet just to keep track. I want to section this off into um, things that I spend monthly, which is going to be like January, February. It's going to be broken down like that. And then I have annual expenses and I started to fill these in. If you want to make this too, Google Sheets. I just did it really quick. First, I want to do the date because I want to know when I spent these. So, you know, in January, if I have like 10 different dates, I'm going to be like, whoa, I spent a lot of money a lot of times. Um, the second one is going to be category. And then I'm going to put the product description so that I know exactly what I bought. So if it was like jeans for self-tape auditions, I can do that. And then if I was reimbursed and then the receipt. So if I take a photo of the receipt or if the receipt is in the email, why I bought it. And for example, like um, I have IMDb Pro here and it says to be able to cold email and research agents, managers and other actors. That's my spreadsheet. And I love to make spreadsheets. You might be able to see down here, I have my 2022 audition tracker, 2023 audition tracker, and my income tracker. So I like to try and keep track. Sometimes I fall off of keeping track of things, but I think it's really helpful to take control of your finances and make smarter decisions of like, uh oh, I already spent, you know, $600 on casting websites this year. Do I really need another one? But if you also want to become an actor and you want to become an actor in 2023, I'm making a bunch of videos on helping you. Like if you were my friend, you were like, Belgica, can you help me? Where do I even start? Like, help me through every step. Sure. I am making very specific videos on like how to start from zero, from nothing. And then I also have tons of videos on my channel about how I've been doing things the last like five years. So you can watch those too.